In this tutorial, you will learn how to make this amazing foam flower arrangement. All with our DIY foam flower kit. Welcome to Flowerpreneur TV, where we bring you the best of DIY foam flowers. Let's see what's included in our kit. So we've got our bendable stems, floral tape, floral wire, our amazing easy press molds, and all the foam you need to create this amazing floral arrangement. So we are going to start by starting with our foam, our, red, our whatever color foam you got for your Floribunda flower rose kit, and our mold. So we're just going to cut 10 pieces of um, like seven by seven inches. So you're just gonna calculate, you know, I usually, instead of doing something like this, I kind of calculate, you know, just the space of this, approximately like that. It's seven inches or a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna give it a little bit, you know, tighter. You just need a little space to kind of hold. This is a big mold. So we just need one, two, three, and we're going to have this little piece left over. So we are going to cut here. Just the edges. And we're going to cut here. And we have something like that. So now we're going to, before we try the other one, we need six pieces. So we're going to manage to get something right there. Last little piece, we're going to have to probably do it in two parts. So don't worry. So we got three, three, and then we're going to fit four in here. It's going to be a little bit tight. We're just going to have to make maybe three. And do the other in parts. So we got, hmm, should be the other way. But we're just going to try to cut all our pieces. We're going to be, if you are short, we're just going to have to cut half and half of these flowers. It's going to be pretty easy. We get one, two, so you can have extra pieces. So, what we do in a piece like this one, we are going to cut this out, and we may have to blend some stuff out. And we will have some extra petals all over. So here we go. So we should have, we have a little bit less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I am going to do two extra ones just in case you need an extra little petal somewhere. Because basically the petals are glued individually. So I'm going to use these. These are going to be used. We have all these. And I will have a little tutorial on how to use this um, extra material. So we have a little extra one. So now we are going to paint around them and work on that. So here I have some craft glue, uh, craft 
uh, paint blended. So the only thing we're going to do is kind of make a circle around this. So when you thermal form, the edges are a little bit darker. Now you may want to do um, something like that. So we're just going to do this all around. So the edges, and we're going to do it on both sides. So it's one. And we're just going to go like that. This is like the sides, the edges of our petals will be darker and they're going to look so beautiful. You may want to push them in like that. You may want to do it from the center to the outside. It's totally up to you. Um, so we're just going to make a little, little circle all around and do it on our 10, 11. Um, and then you may want to, you know, you can do some little extra petals or, you know, with your leftover pieces. So each mold has five petals. And we try to do it as fast as possible, but um, you can do lots of things with those petals, with that petal mold. So here we go. And we're just going to keep on going, the 10 of them. And let's continue. So we are now going to get our EVA, we already cut out our little templates for our uh, Floribunda rose. So we need to get 18. So I'm going to start. What I do kind of easier for me is I just make little strips. So this is approximately three inches extra. So I'm just going to cut a like right here in the same line. one little strip and I'm going to take six out of these so we're going to fold it right here at the edge make sure you get like six little squares or even seven you know so two three four five six so we got six little squares and then you just fold in half. And we're going to do the same thing over here again. Kind of like, okay, this is the height. So we're going to cut a little square so we can cut out our template. I'm going to do it a little bit shorter because I did them a little bit too much. Exactly, to be exact, it's three inches. So I'm gonna take these lines here and just cut through here. And then I'm just gonna fold it in half and in threes. You wanna, ooh. so you can also do it sideways, okay? So it's not a big deal. But you do want to, you know, optimize your materials one two three four five six so we got it right there and even on this one you want to optimize that little thing so i'm just going to cut over here because maybe we can get out of this piece two of them you know if you fold it like this and a little bit like that we can actually use this little leftover for this piece, you know? So I'm just gonna cut here. Make sure you optimize all your materials. I always cut like this and then I cut the little parts out. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of fold this in half. And it barely fits, but I'm gonna make it fit. 
you know, a little bit shorter, but I want as much material as I can get. So we're gonna do that. And it's as simple as that, guys. So they don't have to be perfect. You know, it's a template just to give you the idea. And it's pointy at the end. Because remember when we stretch it out? So we're gonna do another little squares. So we can get our one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we only got five. So we're gonna do this again. And fold it in one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure our little template fits in there. You can do it sideways. There we go. And I'm just gonna cut right. Doesn't have to be perfect, remember. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut through here and through here and here. And we've got six more. So I think we've got our 18. And now we're gonna use our little template. This one, I like to use it like, you're gonna do it like sideways. You know, maybe you can fit an extra one. Cause you need approximately, we need to fit uh, 13, 12 of these. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You need six of these. So we're just gonna go one like that, two, and then the third. So we're just gonna, you know, maybe, no. We need to optimize the material this way. So let's do it here. I'm just gonna cut like that and make sure it fits, our 12 pieces fit. So I'm just gonna cut like this. I do have a little extra one, but that you can use. And then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna cut exactly halfway. And we've got our 12. Here you go. So we're gonna start cutting these out. You can do it sideways, and if you have it a little bit longer, you can do it diagonally or whichever way you feel more comfortable. And we're just gonna cut all our little leaves. And then sideways, you're just gonna do this. You go in, click in that. And I'm just gonna give this little round off here. And we're gonna go one, two, one, two. You know, kind of like that. So you've got your lead. Look at that, how pretty. So this is your sepal. So you know you've got this little thing like that. I'm gonna cut it out here on the template. I usually, you know, have it out and then we're just gonna go this little thing here and then inside. Inside. So I'm gonna grab another one of my little squares. I'm gonna do it diagonally again. Put my little template right there. Barely made it actually. And you want to cut this out. Since I like the little tip, very, you know, tippy, you may want to leave that. And then you go one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now let me cut some sepals so the video won't be that long. Look at that, how pretty it looks. So we're gonna do that like that, put it sideways, or you may want to do it like this and use your template. But since it's not that perfect, we wanna grab this one. So you're just gonna go around the line, right at the tip, around the line, at the tip, make a little square, 
and then we do our little edges here very simple guys this is like the easiest easy PC templates because they don't have to be perfect they're all very nonchalant so this one's a little bit bigger than that one you can see so you want to maybe cut it a little bit on this one but so we're gonna go another one just to see how it works we're gonna use our small one but you do your so you're gonna cut your 12 sepals and you just do this here and here you go so you're gonna continue cutting your leaves and your sepals and we will go to the next part which is painting so let's go so we are now going to start petting, um, painting our leaves and i'm going to do an experiment here we've got craft paint from walmart we've got um pastels and we've got mica paint that i like a lot because it gives a really nice shimmer you can do whichever now i like the um Let's see, I'm going to put a little yellow in the center. You can use a cheesecloth, fingers to defuminate it. I'm going to use this little thing just to make it like that. And then I'm going to try a darker green, which doesn't show much. But we are going to try, I'm just going to put a little bit here. Because I just want a little touch of that on the edges. And can you see? So you just want a little touch of that, just so it looks a little bit darker. You may want to do a little line in the middle. It all depends how you like it, and that's kind of it. So we are making a big mix. Here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to first do the yellow. So I want the yellow to go all the way to the tip. And then from here, we're going to put the darker you know, kind of just little strips like that. And once this is a little bit dry, if you have Nika paint, you want to um, do that. Now I'm making it very advanced. You don't have to do it like that. So you see, we've got our little, you know, so we're gonna have to do both sides, but it's really so entertaining because you can look at a leaf and just, you know, uh, go from there So I'm going to put a little bit of more yellow here. You may want to defuminate it. I didn't defuminate that first one and I'm going to use my little You may want to do it like that from here to here I usually lacquer paint it when I have a big production. Because let me show you, uh, this is another leaf, but kind of, it was a little bit um, different, but this is thermal form. You see, it's got, you know, even here, this was uh, with lacquer paint, you just spray paint. So it's pretty simple and easy too. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna go around and do this on all our leaves. And then I want to show you a little bit. I'm going to open my um, makeup paint. I'm going to use the one that's a little bit more. Um, another one. Now, you don't have to do all this. I'm just kind of going. You see, I don't know if you can see the little shine on that. You know, the makeup paint gives it a shine. gives it a shimmer it's made out of stone so I don't know if you can see the difference of that little shimmer when I did put some little um like inside the makeup paint I it's just a little bit of powder with polyacrylate look at that how beautiful so basically we're gonna go like that 
just let me see if you can see the difference of the shimmer of one and the other. They're both beautiful. So uh, we're going to go and continue this. So basically, I'm going to do one more just so you can see. So you want to put your little yellow in the middle. You know, if it's a row, sometimes I go the other way around and then the darker green on the edges, like kind of coming through your, like your veins. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. You know, it's kind of random. You won't really notice much of these stuff. You may want to defuminate it more. It all depends on how a little bit more defuminated than this one so you can see the difference but they're once they're thermal form it gets this consistency that just looks so beautiful and then you may want to do your uh mika finish on them but you don't really need to do that so basically we are going to continue and finish all our uh leaves on both sides So now we're going to start thermal forming. If you can see, um, this one kind of dances around a little bit, and this one's a little bit. So you want to put the on the bottom and hold this one to press down because the bigger the 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 mold is, the harder you have to press because it's kind of complicated. So what I do is I hold this between my two fingers. If you can't, it's kind of hard. I'm going to have to do it sideways because this is a tiny little bit easier. Make sure you have these two little signs towards the same side. So I'm going to put it over my heating uh, press and just go around like that. Make sure it gets the middle and then you're going to press hard. And you see, kind of here, you may want to put a little extra paint here, but you'll have the. So here is your thermal forms piece. Now we're going to go on another one. Make sure you're ready to put the things against each part. So here we go again. And we're going to make sure it's heated all like evenly. Kind of, it depends. This is pretty hot, the one I have on. I usually have this other griddle, Ooh. and you've got to press hard. I think this is too too hot. The best um, temperature would be 400, 450 degrees. So you see. Now some will come out better than others, and you'll see. So I'm holding it right. I'm just going to touch. It's reduced a little bit the heat because this is not the. You can do it on an iron. You can do it, actually, you can do like a heat gun over the foam. You just have to make sure you're kind of stretch it out. This is a very big mold. This is one of our biggest molds. So you're going to continue this with 10, 11 of them. If one, like let's do this one that's kind of a little bit shorter. We're going to make sure one side, maybe this petal doesn't come up right. So we're going to, you know, do these little patches or make your flowers bigger or whichever you prefer, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, so we're going to press. And here you go. Actually, it did fill completely. And we're going to continue this with 10. So we have now finished uh, molding this. And you can see in some places you will see this little 
dip here. So you want to kind of accommodate two by two so you can cut faster. Make sure one is exactly over the other one. So right here, I think it's there. I'm not too sure. And yes, it's right there. So I'm going to do two by two. And here I see the little thing is right there. Yes, it's perfectly fits one over the other one. And right here. So I have a little technique that's kind of fast. And I think it's, yes, right there. These two right there. And this is the last one. So what I do most of the time is you're going to, you, you see that they have a little tip at the very end in the mold. So you're going to go just make a circle all around both two. You know, on the tip, make sure you don't cut off that tip unless you want your flower a little bit more rounded off. And then we're just going to cut all the way to the very center. Make one cut to the center, to the center, to the center, and to the center. And then you're going to, I personally like that little, you're going to grab two like that and follow the cut one, follow the cut two, follow the cut three, follow the cut four, follow the cut um, five. So you got five on the side and then you go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing. And make sure you have your little tip coming out really pretty. And then you have it there and you have it there and you have it there. And we have this other one right here. So you see, you have your um, five. So we're going to grab another one. And what I do again, step number one, is have them perfectly aligned one with the other. Make sure you see this one is, was cut a little bit lower. So what do we do with those? So right here, we cut to the center, we cut to the center, so first the circle, to the center, to the center, and to the center. And then we're going to do this on the other side, all the way to the tip, on this side all the way to the tip, on this side all the way to the tip tip on the side all the way to the tip on this side we already did it now on the back part all the way to the tip Ooh, that did not come out good now all the way to the tip And here we go. Here are your petals. So we're going to do another two and continue. So now that we have all our leaves and sepals, we're going to start thermoforming them. They're going to be so pretty. So uh, we have our grill or um, iron or your hair styler. And you're just going to make a little crease through the middle, first and foremost. Like this is your sepal, right? So we are going to then warm one side and then get this out towards the outside because this is going to be on top of your flower. So we're going to warm this towards the outside. I'm trying to see, make sure it's in the camera. And this is going to go a little bit like this. So we're just going to close this up and make like a little, you can see. And this little thing, 
you want it all stretched up and pointy. Can you see? So now we're gonna do a leaf. So you got the leaf and it's kind of like the same thing. You're going to warm it right through the center. We're gonna make a crease through this center part. We're gonna make like this little vein right through the middle and then open it up. So, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a crease from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So basically, we're gonna warm one side. Now this one is towards the same side. So we're going like that. And it's just like a little twist. And we're gonna do the other side. And you just kind of want to pinch from the center line to the little um, thing like that. Can you see how it looks now? It looks gorgeous. It looks so leafy. Now you may want to stretch the edges that opens it up a little bit and makes the leaf a little bit more um, realistic. But you've got your center bend to each of the sides and you've got your cute little leaf. And we're gonna put the wire through right here. So let's do another one. So we're gonna put right through the middle, you warm the middle up and then you bend, right? You make your little little thing like that and then you start opening it up because you don't want it to end like that so you want so that same little crease we're going to go through the side on the same side and we're going to go one and then on this other side two see? through the center to the side then on this side three and four. So you've got your little creases right here. Can you see? Now you may want to stretch this little point a little bit more. A little bit towards the outside. So you can play around with your thermal forming techniques. Now we're going to do this one, the, another sepal. But let's do another leaf. Let's repeat. So I'm gonna leave this part in the back, actually, in the front. So we're gonna warm the center part right here, putting it on the grill, and we're going to pinch it and stretch it. And leave it still open. You don't wanna close it like that. You wanna open it up. Now I'm gonna do this side. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Be careful. And we're gonna go through the, to this and stretch from here to here. So you've got towards each of your, now we're gonna go the other side. Warm it up and you've got from here to here. Oh, this is coming out so pretty. And from here to here. So you see, look at that little leaf. Look, I don't know. Now, if you want to do the little uh, stretches on the very, very tiny little edges right there just so it's not like hard like that. You know, you want it always to have a little form. So it's center, line, 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 and then little edges. So these are your leaves. So we're gonna continue with our little, little leaves. And the sepal, if you see, I did the first one. It's first, it's this way, and then it's towards the outside. So the sepal is a little bit different. So we're gonna pinch on one side so this one is like close towards this but then the edges you want to go to the outside so this is creased sort of down right and then this side we're gonna stretch it the other way from the back because this is and stretch it to the back so you got this towards here and this towards the other. And here you just want to warm it up and make sure it's pretty round. So you can, you know, it'll go to your, and then this part, because remember how the roses are? They have these little things, you know, coming out at the edges. You can do that on these little things too. It's just so pretty. You know, it's just pointy little things. So let's do another one. So remember, this is the other way around. You 
warm it up through the center and I'm gonna warm it up. And these are going to be, the creases on these are gonna to be towards the outside. So I'm gonna crease this way. And this way. And then you just want to make, make the tip a little bit more like accent to the outside. And this, well, it's gonna go around the leaf. So look at that, how pretty. So we're not gonna continue all these until we're finished with all our sepals and our leaves. So let's continue. So now we have our 10 thermoform and painted flowers and our leaves and everything ready. We are going to start setting them up inside our three. Um, one is gonna be a bud, medium size and large size. So uh, what I do normally is I just make a little X cut here. You can see here, just a little tiny little cut. You can do it with an X-Acto knife because you you can go like this and nothing will happen but it's kind of easier if you make that little cut so you can pass past these this little bud like that because you are going to want to turn this upside down and this is going to glue to that little bud here so don't worry about the cut the glue is going to be fine so before we start putting our bud in, we want to put on this one, first one. Well, they're all gonna have a bud, which is two pieces. So what I do is I cut up and then make sure you put it on the right side up. So one is gonna have, I think I forgot the fourth cut. It's gonna have one, ooh. I don't think I'm gonna get my X-Acto knife. It's just so easier. You see how it's going to? So we just turn them upside down, but don't worry about turning them upside down. So one is gonna be made with two. The medium one is going to be made with three. So we're gonna cut three up. Now you can put two, 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 and two and go kind of faster if you want. Cause it depends if you have like a big, um, a big, another, you know, a big production. Well, then you gotta go as fast as possible. So here uh, for tutorial purposes, we're just, I'm just gonna cut them all so we can do the little cuts and put them in through. So next one, I'm gonna insert three. Don't worry if it tears a little bit. One, two, three. And the big flower goes with five. So we're gonna insert five to the big flower. So one, I'm just gonna cut it as fast as possible. That we gotta go. I don't want the, uh, the tutorials to be too long. So we just make this little insertion. So don't worry, all these cuts will be, um, you know, they will be covered with a sepal. So it's not a problem, guys. It's just kind of like to make it, um, you know, there's some people that glue it on top once it's done. I kind of like gluing it with the, with the two. 
three, four, five. So we've got five, three, and two. Got this extra one. So what we're gonna do with these little strips that we had, we're gonna do our little bud here. You know, kind of like you're gonna roll it a little bit and try to glue it here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in there, basically. So you can use your um, heat gun or whatever you prefer. So the first part is like, I need a little to open this up. Hopefully this will work. It's probably better with a needle. Let me open this up and I'll continue. So here we're just gonna wrap this up right here. Put a glue at the edge, just at the beginning. So you can insert it in this little part. And then the rest, you will continue to wrap around the green so you make it like way sturdier. You see, it's just a little, it's kind of just like the structure you use for, you know, the giant ones. It's a little structure. as wrapped as possible. And you don't have to do it that long. I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm just gonna close it up. And I'm actually gonna cut it up a little bit. You see right here? This is where we're gonna glue. So we need to glue this little strip up. Cut it to where it doesn't show. So we're just going to make this as straight as possible flush. And then what I like to do is just put a little lid on it. You know, it's not going to show, but you don't, I mean, it, it does look nice because if you have to look through it too much inside, but you don't want anything to show. So what I do is I just kind of do this, put a little bit of glue around, put a little lid on it and just cut out the edges. So this is kind of like you just eyeball it because it's gonna be covered. So it's not gonna show, but we want it as perfect as possible. So the first thing you gotta do is, is in the first, make sure no glue hits any other petal because we have to be, so you're gonna close it like that and you've got your structure. So you're gonna, you know, these are gonna be a little bit close like that. We're gonna glue one and then the other one like that. You know, kind of like a little taco and they're gonna be wrapped. So this bud is kind of closed right here. So let's put the glue. It is so simple. And you wrap it around the first one. and you make sure you close it properly. And then the other one, we close it properly too. Make sure when you see this, make sure it's like straight, right? You wanna make sure this is up straight with the, although, you know, you move the other. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on these edges. And I'm going to wrap this. Make sure it's as straight as possible if you see it like that. So then these three, you're going to glue one edge of one. First one edge so you can make sure is one is wrapped after the other, you know. So once this is glued, put an extra little dab of glue here. Make sure this is properly closed. So nobody can actually see that little bud we did, but you know, the best is nothing comes out. So now this is, the bud is properly glued to your structure. 
like that. And then we're gonna do one. You see how these three, two on this side and one. So we're just going to push this one a little bit more this side, this side, and make sure you first glue the first edge. So I'm gonna glue this side first. Right here, because these are start to open, right? And then this side, if you close this side, you want to close this side. You can go the same side of the other petal. That's the first one you're going to glue. So I'm going to glue this one. And I'm going to push it as much as possible in here. So you can have the three and pull it up. And I'm going to glue this side. And pull it this way. So you got something that looks like that. And now you glue the edges around. And you've got your little tiny little bud. So I'm going to do it here. Then I'm going to do it here. Then I'm going to do it here. And there you go. You just open this up. So that's your beautiful. Now the next one, you're going to do the same thing. Make sure when you close it up like this, oh, this little stick is holding it. So make sure that, you know, there's three in here, there's five. So you won't really have a problem. It's with the next one, you know, that you want one petal between the other. So I'm gonna put a little bit of dab of glue at this center right here, inside the little, um, like the foam little hole. And you're just gonna push it in there. So you see now it's very very glued to our stem and it looks really nice so now what we're going to do is the same thing we're going to glue one side of each and then you see like right here you can't have this one outside this one has to be in there so it's kind of like wrapped like that look at that how beautiful so we're going to start gluing and we're going to glue this one first And we're gonna glue right there. Then we're gonna glue this one. It's kind of like halfway. You only put glue like up to here. And I glue it right there. And then the next one. And these flowers are so easy to make and so beautiful. The wonders about foam is that you can actually use lacquer, makeup paint. I mean, we use all types. In this video, I'm doing um, craft glue, craft paint, but I will make some uh, with other types of paints so you can see how easy it can be like with lacquer paint. So if you've got like a big production, if you're a flower printer and you got a big production, it's like, you see how pretty let me see if I can twist this little thing a little bit so you can see how pretty it looks now you're gonna close these sides you're just gonna glue these sides dun, 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 dun. so here we go so we glue this now we glue this other one now this is the big flower so the other little ones Basically, if you do like the bud, it's gonna be this. So it's kind of like, this is the one that has two buds. That has, I'm sorry, that is a bud. So you just glue your little edges.
And once we have them all finished, there's your flower buckets and gorgeous thing. We're gonna put the sepals. But right now we're gonna continue this. In, in the case of this one that has only two, this is the way it ends. So you may want to, you know, wrinkle these up more. I'll give you some tips and tricks, but see how pretty, that's a rosebud. Gorgeous. And then the sepals, but this is the big giant one we're gonna do. Well, when I mean giant, I, I'm not talking about the big, big, big giant ones. So make sure right here when you glue that you, this one goes like in the middle of these two, this one glues there. So just, you know, look at that, how beautiful. So this is, this would be a medium flower. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna glue one part, one side. And glue it a little bit over here. Glue this other side. Glue this other side. this other side. I'm actually going to put glue on these two because I'm just going to touch them up. They're just going to go. Make sure one is inside the other one. So there you go. Look at that beautifulness. So that's a medium rose. Medium rose. It's got, it's actually a it's got five, 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 15 petals. That's a medium rose. So now we're just gonna glue the, the outer edges. The outer edges to make sure um, our little petals don't flap and they're properly glued together. And it's a very sturdy rose. Still need to work on the sepals. So three is the other flower. And now we're gonna continue here. We gotta make sure that they're right in the middle. This one is like a line between these two. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on this and one side. I'm gonna glue these two kind of like at the same time because they're, you know, they're not overlapping anymore too much. And here we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, okay, this one has to go first. This side goes first and then this one on top. So we now do this, the same thing, and this one on top. So I'm gluing at the same time right now, both sides. So I won't have to go around it. But it's easier when you don't have to put one over the other too much. Like, oh, so this one has to go first and then this one. So you just put your finger and hold it there. And the last little one, basically it's just this little edge. And we hold it. So here, look at that. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my God. It is amazing. It turns out to be like an eight inch flower. Cause this one, if you look at on the back side, it's totally open, you know? So here we're gonna make sure we do the gluing right, right between this one and this one. Wanna make sure you've got that really nice set. So I'm just gonna move it around to make sure you know, they are right in the middle. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna make the same thing. We're gonna glue here. 
And now actually none of it goes over the other. It's like, I mean, you could continue making a flower and just cut the petals out and make it like 10 inches wide. So we're gonna glue this one. I don't know if you can see the bottom. So we just, right here on this side, on this side. And we glue right there. And now we're just gonna glue these, this other one right here. I'm gonna give it, I didn't cut it enough, so I'm just gonna give it a little cut here, right there. And I'm going to glue. It is so easy, easy peasy. So there you go, look at that gorgeousness. And we still have to do the sepals. You can see it through the back. So this is the giant one, the big one. Now we're just gonna finish the one that, the medium size and the bud size. And we are done so we can uh, add our leaves to them. So we're now gonna take our six wires and cut them in three so we can have 18 pieces. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, kind of uh, eyeball it. So it's 16, they should be around six inches each, approximately here. So I'm just gonna cut my wires. Another six. They don't have to be even, don't worry. They don't have to be perfect. So it's just like, so you got your 16. And we're just going to start gluing the very, to each of our 18 leaves. So we're gonna glue them all. You can use your craft glue, the 369 glue or your glue gun. They both work. I'm just kind of used to my glue. My hair is falling off. So can you see that? So we, I'm gonna glue three and I'm just gonna go through the process. You're gonna grab your floral tape from your kit So now that we have our three pieces glued, I'm just gonna hold them like this together. And I'm gonna leave, you know, the same side. You got you pulled them together the same side. And you are going to leave approximately half an inch, you know, like a centimeter and a centimeter. And we are going to start taping. Let me have my scissors. We're going to start taping it right here. So you're gonna cut a piece right here, you see? So I left like half an inch from there. And this little, this little um, thing is what we're gonna glue to the little stomp on our flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. I don't want it that long. So this, we're gonna leave it even here, right there. And now we're gonna take one of our flowers. This is the big one. So you've got your flowers and you're gonna pick your nicest little stumps here. And we are, it's a little bit too long. So you have to calculate how long you want it, but I'm just gonna cut it a little bit more because I don't want it that long. We're going to take a little bit of glue here and glue this to the stump and then continue wrapping it, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna take a little, oh, too much glue. Too much glue. So we're just gonna hold it there. Use your heat gun. We're just gonna hold it there just for it to glue a little bit and then let the glue dry a little bit between the wire and the, 
you're using your silicone glue, I mean, it should be faster. Right here. And then we're just going to wrap this up. And continue wrapping it. And make sure it is pretty well glued to your little stump. You don't want your little leaves falling off. And it's very tight. I'm gonna give it a little extra tight here. I'm gonna give it like a little knot. make it a little bit wider so you want that glued and really well wrapped around it's all in the details I'm just gonna get a little thing of wrap around right here And there you go. So now you make sure it's pretty well glued and you open your leaves. And look at that, look at that gorgeousness. Look at that gorgeousness. So you may wanna do this. So can you see that? Now we're gonna do the same thing with this other stump. Make sure you get the long ones. And you may want to put little dabs of glue to make sure your leaves are uh, very well placed. So let's do another three. So we're gonna grab our, the, our leaf, glue our wire, make sure it's very well glued. And it, ooh, to the back of it. We're gonna grab another three. And on this third one. So here you go. So you've got your three, make sure they dry. We're going to leave a little bit of our, a little half an inch right there. Cut a piece of, you know, not too long, but you know, make sure enough. And we're going to start wrapping them again, right there, just leaving them enough space to open up. And we're gonna just wrap, 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 wrap. Very tight, make sure it's pretty tight. Now I'm gonna calculate how long I left it here so it won't be so, so long. And I'm going to cut this up. And now I'm gonna open this up so they can wrap around the little stomp and be sturdier. You know, like, like a little forklift on your stomp like right here. So this is my, our second little stop. I don't know if you can see right there. And you glue. I think I'm actually going to grab my, because plastic with plastic, I kind of prefer um, our glue gun. Although they're both good. You just got to wait a little bit more with this one. So let's just wait for it to glue properly. And look at that, how beautiful it's looking. It is looking so gorgeous. And we are going to wrap around just beautifully.
Make sure it's very, very tight. Very, very tight. I think I cut the tape a little bit too long. But right here at the edge, you want it to be perfectly held together. Kind of, you know, like when you buy artificial flowers, they have this little hole. So when you, when we glue the leaf, we do that kind of like the same thing. When it's a different type of flower that uh, it goes directly to the stem. We make it a little bit different, but I will show. It. But you know, if you're if you're buying different types of kits and stuff, you will see what I'm talking about here. I mean, we don't even use floral tape actually. So I'm just gonna wrap it here. You don't have to wrap it around. And just put a little dab of glue here, right there. And I'm going to cut here. And just make sure it's perfectly held. Put a little bit of glue. And voila. So look at that. Now we're just going to need to glue the sepal. So you've got your sepals done. And you've got your look at this gorgeousness so the easiest thing is you're just going to calculate your little sepals and you're just going to glue them around so you only have four because you don't want um right here you want to grab part of the of the stem so it'll be sturdier so we're just going to glue this part kind of like this and we're going to do one two two to the side and then one to the middle so we're going to glue this right there. And we're going to go right there. And we're going to make sure it is glued to these edges right here. Now we're going to get, I want to show you this one tore. So I wanted to show you what to do in these cases. When you want to heat it up, it can glue together, or you can just glue it and kind of hide it a little bit here. So you may want to do, uh, I'm gonna hide it, that it tore, so you all can see. So you want one, let me see, make sure it, or you, that you can see this. So you want to, I am going to glue this under here and make sure it doesn't show and then a little bit of paint over it and it should be good to go. Nobody should see there was a mistake right there. So, you know, there's always ways to fix our boo-boos if you wanna call them that. It's like, oh boy, like, oh my God. I stretched the, the foam too much. I did this or stuff like that. So now you can always hide little or little mistakes. Or sometimes you just pick, you know, you have to redo them. So here's another sepal. So we're just going to put glue on it. Right there, hold it forth. So it's, I'm gonna open it up a little bit more. edges right here and make sure it's very glued around your stem because that's when it's going to make it so sturdy and that's going to make it look at this gorgeousness oh my god gorgeous gorgeous guys congratulations you've got your first floribunda rose the big one it measures let's see how many inches it's like 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches wide. It is a gorgeous thing. Look at that. So congratulations to all of you, but we have to repeat. The other two is exactly the same thing. So congratulations.